Oke, okay. welcome back to our channel Maths Animation. In this time, we will discuss how to find the end term of this sequence. Ya, yeah? how to find the general end term of this sequence? Ya, yeah, oke. Okay. Plus, this this is the four, seven, ten, thirteen, sixteen. Ya. Yeah. Oke, okay, between terms, between terms, there is the common difference. Common difference is plus 3, plus 3, plus 3, plus 3. The, there is the common difference between terms is plus 3. 4 plus 3 is 7. 7 plus 3 is 10, ya. Yeah? And so on. Ya, yeah, so for here as the first term, 7 as the second term, 10 as the third term. And so on. Ya, yeah, we move first. Oke, okay. and then how to interpret this common difference on the graph? Ya, yeah. how to interpret this common difference on the graph? Oke, okay. so for the horizontal axis as the number of term or n ya, yeah. horizontal axis as the number of term or n, and the vertical axis as the number in the sequence or a sub n. A sub n. Iya. Yeah. Nah, so, ya, yeah, so for here, dot 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 here is represent for as the first term, seven as the second term, ten as the third term, thirteen as the fourth term, and sixteen as the fifth term. Ya. Yeah. Ya, yeah, so between dots, between dots, we have the common gradient. Common gradient, gradient is rise, rise of run, rise of run, rise three unit, run one unit. So we have the common gradient is three over one or three ya, yeah, equal to three. The common gradient is three. So three here is represent actually the common difference of the sequence. Ya, yeah, so we have the general formula. General formula of the n term is a sub n equal 3 n plus question mark. 3 n plus question mark. 3 is obtained from the common common difference, ya. Yeah. Common difference. Ya, yeah, and then how to get the question mark? How to get the question mark? Oke, okay, one here, one here as the as the zero term or the term before the first one is the number of in the sequence before the first term ya yeah, one ya yeah. so one here when n equal to zero when n equal to zero equal to one because one as the zero term so we get the question mark here equal to one equal to one ya yeah. equal to one so we have the general formula is a sub n equal 3 n plus one three n plus one ya yeah. oke okay. how to get the general term of the sequence this is the way this is steps oke okay. we move to the question is taken from the IGCSE pass paper 0580 M15 question paper 22 22 ya Oke okay. ya yeah. As you see here the first term is 13 the second term is 8 the third term is 3 the, the fourth term is minus 2 the fifth term is minus 7 So a sub 1 a sub 2 a sub 3 a sub 4 a sub 5 For the common difference is minus 5, minus 5, minus 5, minus 5. So we have the general formula. The general formula how to find the n term is a sub n equal minus 5 n plus question mark. Yeah, minus 5 is taken from the common difference. Common difference, yeah. Then how to find the question mark here? So the, the the number in the sequence before the first term is 18. Because 18 minus 5, 18 subtract by 5 is 13. So 18 here as the zero term, zero term ya. Yeah. 
So we get the question mark value is equal to 18. Equal to 18. So we have the general formula for the n term of the sequence is minus 5n plus 18. Ya. Yeah. Oke. Okay. And then. Yo. And this is the, the question taken from IGCSE 0580M16 question paper 1 2. Yeah. For this sequence, write down the question A is the next term, the question B is the n term. Yeah. Nah, as you see here, the 35 as the first term, 41 as the second term, 47 as the third term, and so on. So, for the common difference for this sequence is plus 6, plus 6, plus 6, plus 6. The question is, find the next term. So, 59 plus 6 is 75. So, the question, the, the, S, the answer for A is 75. Yeah, and then, how to find the n term? Yeah, how to find the n term? Because of the common difference is plus 6 plus 6 plus 6. So, A sub n equals 6 n plus question mark. How to get the question mark is obtained from the from the zero term is taken from the zero term. So the number of term before the first term. Yeah, when n equal to zero or the zero term is equal to 29 because 29 plus 6 is 35. 35. So we get so we get the We get the general formula. General formula is general formula is a sub n equal 6n plus 29. Yeah. Okay. So you get it? How to find the n term of the sequence? Of the sequence, yeah. Of the sequence. Okay. Plus 6 plus 6 plus 6 is the common difference so we how to get the the n term general formula is a sub n equal 6 n plus question mark 6 n 6 is obtained from the common difference yeah okay and then and then how to find the question mark is obtained from the zero term so we get the general formula is 6 n plus 29 oke okay? oke okay, thank you